This is Twit. I know tablets are often a malign topic around around these parts. Uh, we, you know, we we wish there were more tablets, and there were, you know, we've a lot of you have written in saying that you enjoy your tablets and wish there was more to choose from. And we're kind of in a period of stagnancy with tablets. You know, there's pretty much they're they're all is either Amazon Fire tablets or Samsung tabs, and there's not a lot of interesting stuff coming out in market. Well, luckily Lenovo is here to hopefully change that. Uh, Lenovo announced the new Yoga Tab 13, which you can pick up for $679. And this is actually the uh, global version of the Yoga Pad Pro that uh, was released in China earlier this year. Um, and what's interesting about this tablet is the tablet also can work as a functional tablet or as an external display for a laptop or a Nintendo Switch or other devices out there via a micro HDMI port. Um, and then with this specific tablet, it's got an attached stainless steel kickstand that can actually rotate 180 degrees from the back of the, the device. So not only could you stand it up on a desk, but you could also hang it on the wall if you wanted to, if you wanted to mount this, this uh, and have a very slim external monitor for whatever uh, uh, application you might be using, um, which is pretty neat. Um, and this was just one of the many uh, tablets that was announced by Lenovo. Um, they also announced a smaller Yoga Tab 11, uh, a Tab P11 Plus with a 2000 by 1200 display, um, and a little cheaper uh, model, the Tab M7 and Tab M8. Uh, but note the Tab M8 won't be available in the US, so there you go. Um, but going back to the Tab 13, it's going to work with Le Lenovo's Precision Pen 2. Uh, so if you if you're an artist, you want to draw, you like writing with pens or that sort of thing, uh, they have the Lenovo Precision Pen 2. Um, it's also got an eight pixel, uh, eight megapixel front facing camera for smarter logins, um, as well as uh, with background noise reduction for video calls. Basically. And Lenovo, Lenovo actually says you'll get up to 12 hours of, bat of battery life, and that the 180p screen, uh, sorry, 1080p screen can reach 400 nits of brightness. So Lenovo is really going pretty hard on this six hundred and eighty dollar thirteen inch tablet as like the top of the line kind of primo tablet. Um, Flo, what do you think? Is this is this worth the money? Is it worth the six hundred and seventy nine dollars for a thirteen inch tablet, which seems huge, although compared to the iPad Pro, not that big, but can also function as an external monitor? Yeah, bro. <laughs> I want yeah. this. <laughs> you want it? Yeah, think about it. Listen, Lenovo already does. You, you, we're asking ourselves who's still making Android tablets. Well, Lenovo's making them, and in this case, they got a lot of they got a lot of hype over the first leak that came out of the overseas variant of the tablet with the HDMI port. And I'm feeling just as excited about it because I like the idea of this added utility, an external monitor I can use with Nintendo Switch. Granted, it is micro HDMI, so it'll come with whatever issues that has, but <laughs> just the, just the idea. And also Lenovo is one of the first manufacturers that's going to push that Google entertainment space that they announced. And so it's a great way to get this like family utility tablet that's affordable in, I don't know. I, I want to get my hands on it and really see if it's as exciting as my brain is making it out to be. <laughs> it it seems pretty cool. I mean, six hundred and seventy nine dollars isn't cheap by any by any degree. I mean, like my the last that's tablet true. I bought the last tablet I bought that Asus was about three hundred bucks or so, and that stung. Um, but you do, I mean, it is big, and you get a lot for it, and it's got a nice long lasting battery life, and that external monitor function allows you to have more application than just what you do with the tablet, which is pretty cool, I think. So, is this Lenovo's yeah. first tablet? No, no. Lenovo, Lenovo's Absolutely been doing tablets not. for a while. Yeah. 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 It's worth noting, by the way, the M8 that they announced, it's not getting uh, updated here. It's the one that I brought on the show like last year. I still have it upstairs. And God, it's really slow. Yeah. Well, the M8 is the M8 has always been the affordable one, right? Like that's yeah, those so are like the the Walmart equivalent tablets. So well, hey, it's no on and no. Correct. It is no on. Yeah. Let's not let's not get too ahead of ourselves. 